A special opening day edition of the MLB pregame show. Matt Vaskersian here counting down the minutes until the new season gets underway. And before it does, we'll check out our first Tops player spotlight. Gerald Hayden looks to capture that same magic he had a year ago when he had the highest batting average in the National League. What do you think about his chances to repeat a batting title? You know what, Matty? I don't know. Look, at, I know it's going to be difficult to earn a repeat batting title. Look at some of the names of the guys who have done it. Some of the games he lead. Gwynn, Hornsby, Honus Wagner, Stan Musial. Look at the last guy to go back to back. 98-99, Larry Walker. That's the kind of elite, elite player you got to be to repeat as batting champion. All right, lineups and first pitch are coming up next. Stay tuned for that right here on the show. Los Angeles. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the San Diego Padres and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Hi again, everybody. It's finally here. Welcome to our special opening day edition of Baseball on the Show. I'm joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak. The staff for these two teams is sure to be a focal point as this series moves along. Just like any team, pitching is going to be a key factor for this ball club as the year plays out. I'm sure the staff will have its ups and downs, but if they can pitch like they can, I think this team's going to be pretty successful. The games count starting now. It's opening day. It's the show. And it's coming up next. Next to stand in is Gerald Hayden, already the holding the all-time hit streak record. Gerald. He continues to carve Hayden. out his place in the game's pantheon right here. You know, Matty, whatever happens in this guy's career, regardless whether he becomes a superstar for 15 years or fizzles away, this mark will always stand. It will always be something that other players chase. Children will learn about it in textbooks. This guy has certainly etched his place in this game's history. That's a hit, the first of the new season. He'll come home with it. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. And he will add yet another game to his incredible hitting streak as it now reaches even further into the stratosphere. You know, Dero, I don't know if this thing's ever going to end. This guy's been raking now for almost two months, and he's swinging the bat just as good now as when this streak that started cool. to start it off the with his first base hit. Oh, yeah, it, do it doesn't seem Robert. like he's coming out of it anytime soon. I wonder the pitcher that would create such a tough matchup for this guy to shut him down because he's playing with the big part of the field. He can beat you in so many different ways, and this number's getting just straight ridiculous. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Robert Hassel becomes the first out of the inning. That is it. The catcher, number five. Four. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's that really exists. hard to get on the top of that season. good high hard fastball. Here's the 1-1. One, one. A bounce to the left side. He's got right it. Back, right ball, right ball. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. Friars forced to settle for just the one. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Padres one. The Dodgers coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Digging in next, hit the center fielder. 
Skipper. One out, nobody on. Grounded to third. Scooped up. And there's out number two. So stepping in is Gerald Hayden. He collected a base hit his first time up. I'm interested to see how focused their ABs will be playing with this lead. I think this needs to be a little bit of a smell blood inning. Keep the fire rolling. I know it's early, but keep the pressure going. Swinging the bat's nice. And he will make the catch on the full run. And there's a dandy of an out to start the inning. So next to bat will be Gerald Hayden. One for two on his line so far in the game. Hey now, here we go. From the stretch, here's the pitch. In his career, Hayden is, get this, slugging over 700. That's a number almost unheard of, so if you can help it, don't miss any of his at-bats. That gets down, he's got himself a base hit. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a 3 nothing cushion. Hey, with that base hit right now, the lead's 3 nothing, And the way their pitcher's going, Dero, that might hold up in this one. Yeah, and you're well aware of it, Dan, as an offense, just trying to put those extra runs across the board. You can take a look at the guy on the slab, tell him the slab, he's on fire right now. now. Robert Hassel digging in now. Hassel. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Certainly a very close play at second on that bag, so let's analyze it with show track. We all know he's got plus speed on his side, and you really see it represented in the top speed. That really made the difference on that one. So next to hit is Corey Lee. 0 for 2 for him to this point. 1-1 one, one home. And the runner's breaking for third. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. The first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Now it'll be the Gerald Hayden. The third two for three thus far. Gerald Hayden. Now the first pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Rincon will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So now here is Edber Perez. Now bounced out last Center time on. Edber. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. And the throw is too late. He's on with a beautifully placed bunt single. Well, it took him till the seventh. Ready now is Gerald Hayden. A couple of singles for him and four trips for him this Gerald. afternoon. Hey there. First pitch of the A.B. now. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a pool. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. Sliced hard on the ground. Recovery won't be in time as he'll beat the throw to first. Hey, that's a heck of an approach right there. Lead-off single in the late innings. Team's down a little bit. Let's see if this ends up being a huge turning point in this one. So here is Robert Hassel. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. He's running. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Chris Combs comes in a few steps as he holds it in for the first down. 
Corey Lee digging in now. 0 for 3 with an RBI in this one. Corey Lee. And there he goes towards second. Swing and a miss right three. The throw is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. So he can't make contact there on strike three. But meanwhile, the runner on first takes second here with two men away. So here now is Ty France. They'll go to work on getting that tying run home from second. San Diego down to their final strike. Struck him out. So he'll strand the possible tying run at second. And a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. A one run finish today, 5-4 to four the final score. The Los Angeles Dodgers jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Ronaldo Lopez claims the win out of the pen, his first. Garrett Crochet hammers down the save, his first of the year. So that.